Look, there are two frogs sitting in the pond. They have plenty of room to relax. Oh my goodness, another frog just hopped in. Oh, and now two more. That seems like a lot of frogs for one pond. This is the perfect problem to help us learn about addition. Hey friends! Today, we're going to practice addition, which means we will be putting numbers together to find out how many there are in all. And we're going to use Forward Frog and his friends to help us. Our job is to find out how many frogs are in the pond now that more frogs have hopped in. There are many ways we can solve this problem, and the first way is to use a picture. Let me show you what I mean. Here we're back at the pond with the frogs. First, there were only one, two frogs in the pond. Then, three more frogs jumped in. If we want to find out how many frogs there are in all, we can use the picture to count all the frogs together. There are one, two, three, four, five frogs in the pond. We can say that there are five frogs in all. That's amazing! We can use our counting skills and the picture to help us add two numbers together. That's not the only way we can add numbers together. Just like we can look at a picture, we can also draw our own picture. Let's try a new example. First, there was one frog in the pond. Then three more frogs hopped into the pond. One, two, three. How many frogs are in the pond now? There are one, two, three, four frogs in all. Great job! Did you notice I didn't draw real frogs? <laughs> In math, you can draw shapes, lines, or even small dots to represent objects. Drawing quick pictures is a great way to solve an addition problem. But it's not the only way to solve addition problems. So if drawing pictures isn't the right strategy for you, don't worry. Another way we can add numbers together is to use counters. Almost any small object can be a counter. Snap cubes, two color counters, or even beads will work. Let me show you how. There were four frogs in the pond. One, two, three, four. Then four more frogs jumped in. One, two, three, four. How many frogs are in the pond now? I have four frogs over here and four more frogs over here. If I join these groups together and count to add them, I will find out how many there are all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight frogs in all. Who knew we could use everyday objects to help us add numbers? There is one more way I can add numbers together, and I don't need any extra tools. All I need are my fingers. If you're able to, use your fingers to help me solve the next addition problem. There were three frogs in the pond. So, we need to put up three fingers. One, 
two, three. Then five more frogs hopped in. Okay, now we need to put up five more fingers. One, two, three, four, five. How many frogs are there in all? Now we count all of our fingers that are up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight frogs in the pond. Great job! We have four ways we can solve an addition problem. We can use a picture, draw our own quick picture, use an object like snap cubes, or count using our fingers. Great job practicing addition today. I can't wait to learn more from Forward Frog. Remember, in math, we can solve any problem together. You can count on it. See you next time. Hey.